What is prayer? It's very simple. It's just talking to God. Prayer can either be formal, like our three well-known prayers, the Our Father, the Hail Mary, and the Glory Be, or the informal ones, where we're using our own words to tell God about our problems or our needs or whatever we want. That's the beauty. God is always listening. As Catholics, we really need both kinds. We can say prayers out loud or silently so that we know that God hears both. We need both kinds. Prayer can be receptive, where we are trying to listen to what God might be trying to tell us, where we have a whole lot on our minds and we want to share that with God. The most important thing we, re we need to remember about prayer is not so much how to do it, but that we do it. We know that we pray sometimes when we're in trouble or when someone is sick and we ask God to heal them. We learn how to pray by doing it. And prayer, like work, is not always easy or fun or feels good. But we're cooperating with God. We can't do it without God and God won't do it without us. It always presupposes some effort on our part. Our Catechism of the Catholic Church, which was updated in 1990, the first year I was in seminary, speaks of three necessary prerequisites for prayer. The first is humility. What a great word, so earthy. Prayer is for sinners and saints alike. And the great master of prayer in the Old Testament was a man named Moses. And the book of Numbers said that Moses was a humble man more than anyone else on the face of the earth. And unless one's, one's hands are empty, God cannot fill them up with his gifts. When we are nothing before him, we can be everything through him. The second prerequisite is love. It's the source of our prayer. Abraham is the model of obedient love. God called him and he went in faith and in love, leaving everything so that God could make him the father of all nations. And we, sh we know that our prayer, like our lives, is a journey. The third prerequisite for prayer is faith and hope. Here we are, finite, mortal, and sinful creatures daring to hope that the infinite, perfect God, who is all-powerful, should hear and pay attention to our prayers. Christ's death on the cross tore apart the curtain that had closed the Holy of Holies. Christ dying gave us access to heaven. Our first parents could pray, but sin separated us from God until Jesus made atonement. Through Christ, we have full access to God.